So, uh, April, this is Matthew. Uh, this is a personal prophecy for you, and uh, I pray that uh, you'll be encouraged by this, and uh, you'll uh, feel blessed by this. I just, um, I just uh, pray to the Lord, uh, dear Father. Um, I pray that you give me words uh, to say to April, words to encourage her, to inspire her, and to lift her up. Um, I've got a scripture um, sorry about that um, I was uh, had my Bible um, not where it's normally placed next to my computer um, here's a scripture that the Lord laid on my heart for you um, it's Ephesians 3.20 Now to him who is able to do exceedingly abundantly more that than we ask or think according to the power that works within us. I really feel that that scripture is an important scripture to you. Um, perhaps you know the scripture. Perhaps uh, it's an important scripture to you already. But uh, the Lord wants to highlight that scripture that um, you've got dreams and you've thought about things and uh, there's things that you want to do with your life. Um, the Lord says he's going to do exceedingly and abundantly more than uh, what you can believe um, and understand. So I'm just... Um, turning Facebook off so it wouldn't make a noise. Um, according to the power that works within us, um, I feel that uh, over the next six months in particular, six months out to 12 months, over the next six to 12 months, the Lord is going to be pushing you and directing you uh, through his Holy Spirit. He's going to be directing you to uh, live more fully uh, in the gifts of the Spirit and live more fully in the leading of the Holy Spirit. So the Lord's going to be asking you uh, to do things and requiring you to do things and leading you to do things where you'll have to rely on the Holy Spirit uh, to get through the things. So he'll be asking you to do things like forgive people who've really hurt you, for instance, and you'll need to take that to Jesus and rely on the love that Jesus supplies and, and the Holy Spirit supplies uh, for you to get through those things. So um, he, he's going to be asking things of you over the next 6 to 12 months I feel uh, particularly in the next six months where he's just going to uh, stretch. I, I feel like I see a bird and it's sort of in a cage and uh, it's it's jumped out of the cage and it's hopped around and it's played with, um, it's like a budgie, has, has played with its owners but it keeps on flying back to the cage and I feel that the, the Lord wants to take the cage and put the cage in another room and let the budgie be free and uh, always be out. And I feel that um, you come out, you get moved by the Holy Spirit, uh, you do a few things and then you go back into your comfort zone and uh, you go back into uh, living in the flesh. And I feel that um, this is a good thing because you've been praying uh, for, for the Lord to move you and for the Lord to instruct you and the Lord to lead you. And I, I really feel that he's going to take you on a journey over these uh, next six months and uh, and uh, lead you out of your comfort zone. Um, I, I, I feel that uh, revelation is going to come to you, um, that, uh, that the Lord is going to supply you with revelation out of the Bible and out of books. And I feel that the Lord wants you to even uh, start to write about that and post some of those revelations on Facebook and start to share. And you may be a deeply personal person who keeps things close to your chest and uh, isn't a person that shares a lot. Um, I know we're friends on Facebook, but um, I, I haven't had... Uh, 
many interactions with you, but um, I really feel that uh, the Lord is going to move you into a season of uh, sharing things. Uh, I feel that uh, he's going to give you uh, revelation on certain things uh, about uh, his Bible, um, in the Bible, and, uh, and through other books and maybe YouTube videos and whatever you watch and whatever you read. But he's going to give you insights and he's going to speak directly to you uh, through the Holy Spirit and through his voice, uh, Jesus' voice. And he's going to share with you uh, insights and revelations that he wants you to process. He wants you to take those uh, revelations and process those revelations. And then he wants you to start to share them. A good way to share things is to write a blog and uh, type things out and get it out on paper and edit it and uh, look at it until you're happy and then share those things. And uh, you could certainly do that on Open Heavens and Intimacy with Jesus. Um, I'd be very interested in hearing that. I get a picture of uh, that bird um, not only um, flying around in a house, but I see the bird uh, flying off into the sky and uh, and it's like a domesticated bird that uh, has taken flight and has gone out to nature and started to interact with nature and uh, and uh, that's normally dangerous uh, for a domesticated bird because it gets killed by other birds because uh, uh, they just seem to hunt them down but I feel that uh, you'll make the transition well you won't be taken out um, Satan certainly can't take a person out unless uh, it's time to go. Um, so, um, but I feel that uh, uh, it's time, the message really is, it's time to spread your wings and uh, and fly. And uh, the Holy Spirit wants to be the wind beneath your wings, like that song, uh, uh, Wind Beneath Your Wings. The Holy Spirit wants to be the wind beneath your wings and uh, help you fly. Um, I get a picture of uh, of uh, elephant and um, and and a rhinoceros. Both of them have similar uh, things. Uh, I've seen an elephant uh, get attacked by about six or eight lions, and um, he he just walked into water and flicked them off and uh, got away from the lions. Um, he, he just had tough skin and a rhinoceros has got tough skin too and I feel that you've got this tough skin uh, that uh, you've got a soft heart but you've got this tough exterior and uh, I feel that uh, it's protective and uh, you were built to be protected uh, like that um, and, uh, and I feel that that's not going to uh, uh, be affected. So as you fly off as a bird uh, and you fly into uncharted territory, there'll be attacks that uh, happen um, because there's always warfare when you're taking new ground. But um, but because of this tough skin that you have, um, you'll be able to weather those storms and you'll be able to weather things. Um, you've uh, been praying uh, for greater intimacy and you've been praying for the Lord to use you. I feel um, that uh, I'd, I'd certainly be interested in, uh, in hearing you uh, give me feedback that uh, you've got a blog or you've been thinking of starting a blog because I, I really feel that uh, you've got a lot to share and uh, and you can start little, you don't have to have uh, hundreds of viewers of your blog, you can start little and start to open up. Uh, I feel that the Lord really wants to stretch you in this area and uh, have you open up and not be so private. You've got so many lessons and uh, you've got so much understanding of the proper Christian life and uh, little secrets and tips and uh, all sorts of strategies and uh, good information that uh, new Christians uh, would really benefit from. And I feel that um, God wants you to open up and uh, and uh, uh, 
share these things with with people. I'd be very interested in uh, getting uh, a look at uh, what you write, and I could possibly uh, put you on to an editor that can edit some of the things. So I feel that uh, once you get uh, in a habit of writing, that uh, that uh, there certainly would be a book or two in you that uh, you could uh, teach uh, people certain things. So uh, that's. Uh, quite a bit for you to um, process. Um, I, I look forward to uh, your feedback and uh, I look forward to uh, what you have to say. Thank you for your donation. Uh, I certainly uh, appreciate um, the financial uh, offering. Um, I uh, can certainly use the money over the coming months. Uh, the money is quite short. So um, thank you for that and God bless you and I look forward to your feedback.